What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it yeah. and envision Brad, it. Yeah, a couple more rounds. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. That's all. That's all I need to keep. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. One, go, but what go, we can go, go. say, Spring. that it's possible Monster, Spring. that I can have my Spring. dream as we run work. toward it, as we work on it day in and day out, working on my right, dream. Right. And I want you to think about whatever your dream is. Because I was willing to take a chance, and most people won't do that. Most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business, these are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you will realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. Most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing. They stop working on themselves. They stop stretching. They stop pushing themselves. And they end up becoming very cynical about life. And they throw in the towel on themselves and on their families and on their dreams. And the other thing is that most people don't feel worthy. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago. But because I did not have a college education, because I didn't believe in myself, because I allowed other people's opinion of me to control my destiny, I didn't act on my ideas. So I applaud you for your dreaming, for your running towards your dream. I applaud you for believing in yourself, because that's what life is about stretching and challenging I'm going to have a little more. looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself I try starting the other of stretching out of acting on my dream right. and i don't know what that dream is for you <laughs> i can tell you that it's possible no one could have convinced me that after just over six years i would have my own book entitled live your dreams just over six years i would have five specials on public television just over six years i've done motivational speaking for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, Xerox, IBM, just over six years. What? I will now have my own talk show that will premiere on Monday, Labor Day. I'm saying to you, your dream is possible. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. It's yeah. necessary it's, it's that you hard. get the losers it's out of your life it's if you want to live your dream. Down, it's to necessary it's to right, know, know that everybody Doing won't good. see Doing it, good. that everybody it's won't join you, that it's everybody all. won't have the vision. It's necessary yeah, exactly. to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, right, but they don't want to do anything one. about their Jim. situation. Spring. That you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within right, yourself that I can do this, even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary.
be creative when you're working on your ideas, that you understand the importance of, of changing up, of readjusting your strategies. Many times we can have a great idea, but if you're not advancing it in the right way and things don't happen, you become discouraged and think the idea doesn't work. No, that's not right, true. Well. It's necessary that you be flexible, that you are always thinking of how can I improve this better? that no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. The next thing that's important to know, yes, it's possible that you can choose your future and direct the course of your life as you run toward your dream. It's necessary that you have goals, that you write those goals down, that you plan, that you think constantly of how you can begin to improve what it is that you're doing. If it's your presentations, if it's your recruiting skills, whatever that is, it's also necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated. That you've got to take personal responsibility to know that in order to become successful, you've got to make it your personal business to do it it's possible do it again i can live my dream